Austin's stand-up comedians are coming together for one of their own. LaShonda Lester is having a great year in comedy, but a tough year in her personal life. She was crowned the funniest person in Austin, but kidney problems have caused her medical bills to stack up. CW Austin entertainment reporter Joe Barlow has more. Matt, punch. This is a show we all love, right? Do you? Yes. Okay, good. Tell me about it, though. For five years, we ran this really fun, awesome uh, stand-up show called Punch, and it got a national reputation, and big acts that you've uh, seen on the television started coming down to perform, and then uh, lesser-known acts started getting bigger and then getting on a television, and uh, it was just really, a, it's a fun, fantastic show. So, Chris, you had a little seed of an idea, and you said, let's water it and fertilize this and see what grows. Is that correct? I've never said anything remotely like that in my life. I, uh, but uh, I knew that LaShonda was going to be headlining, uh, coming up, headlining a punch, and she needs a, a little bit of help right now, so I thought, why not combine those two things, and maybe we can make a couple bucks here and uh, help our friend out. I, like, you know, she's got to go to real medicine. She can't just give a fake name at the emergency room like some of us, so. <laughs> right. So we're gonna, you know, try to hopefully turn this event into something uh, profitable for, yeah. for our good friend. And so, yeah, tell us about what, what you're going through over the past, what is it, a couple of years? It's been about a year. Okay. Um, I have uh, chronic kidney disease, which resulted in me having just kidney failure um, due to high blood pressure. So, yeah, it's been really rough. I go to dialysis four times a week, um, and so it's just been a little overwhelming. And it's real, you know, I don't have any family here, but my comedy family, you know, they're definitely looking out for me. So I appreciate that. I will say LaShonda was, is one of the hardest working comics in this town. She was consistently going up and being the funniest person on the shows, but then still, like, kind of being a little too under the radar. I think when she won, the contest this year, I think of, there were some people that were surprised, and I was like, no, I've been telling y'all for six, seven years that she's funny, and like one of the funniest people in, the, in this whole city. People are finally recognizing what I've been saying, and I want to make this whole interview about me <laughs> being the arbiter of taste. <laughs> you can see the show tomorrow night at Cap City Comedy Club. For all the details and ticket information, visit the CWAustin.com.